But you, you know, I mean, we, you can come back to this. I mean, but you, the point being, I mean, you, you know how to do it. You know, I just kind of want to walk through you through how you would do it. Because, because we could save this, and you can go back and make those changes later. I just wanted to kind of run you through it there. But, you know, and then down here at the bottom, you got your offer expires. You know, you change the date on that. You know, pretty self-explanatory kind of stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and just save it, and then come back to it. So I'm gonna save this. Um, if you if you want to put a second coupon on there, for example, or if you want to like kind of make a quick shortcut to using the same style, you know, like on a new block, uh, you can go. Uh, well, if it'll scroll up for me. Oh, hurry. All right. You get, uh, next right next to the pencil. There's a there's a copy of this block. Just click on that, and it'll give you a carbon copy of that particular, you know, block there. So you know if there's, you know, it might be like an article or it might be you know your coupon. But if you want to do, you know, something with the same style, that's a quick quick and easy way to do that. But just for our purposes, I'm just going to say we're not going to use it. And I'm just going to use this other button here and trash it. Yuck. So, you know, there are, I know you guys had like a, you know, a, a sort of a helpful hint, car care tip kind of article right here. You know, you can do it the same way, just copy it. And, uh, you know, put in it. You know, put in a different header. You know, do ever do the style however you want to do it. All right. So, all that makes sense. Okay, and so you can you can upload pictures. You know, if you want to change the picture here, um, you you can keep five of them in your own account, or you know, I mean, you you know, you could host them, you know, on your website or whatever, and link to them. I'm just going to make an example here, like if you want to edit this picture, do this real quick. Now just double clicking this picture, and there we go. There's, you know, a few pictures in there, which you now I have a background. I have, I have some different images that are just being used for the template. I don't know where that came from or what the point of that was but I'm going to I'm just going to uh delete that one just to show you I mean you can just do that yeah I guess that was when he was messing around with it but I'm just going to go back and use this picture again just like I was using all right and just leave it the way it was hit insert image or you can use the inner image URL to type in the URL of your image that you're hosting yourself. Does all that make sense? Yeah. Say that again, please. Yeah, yeah. If you if you upload it, it's just like you know any other real time kind of uploader. You you know it'll it'll say you know upload a new file or whatever, and then, you know you find it on your computer so um, just I mean just like I, I mean I know that you tinkered around and did your, did your own website and stuff you know just pretty much just all the rules apply there like you know putting in the image name and where it's hosted and all that stuff all right so uh, are we ready to, to move on to, to like scheduling the email oh all right I'm gonna do save and continue all right. Now you can, uh, and actually, let me go back. I'm gonna go previous. Okay. I'm gonna go back to where we were, and, and I'm gonna preview the email. So you know, if something looks funky or whatever, you know, I mean, we you can send it to yourself to proof it. I'm gonna preview here the little, uh, what do you call it thing? Magnifying glass. So you can check it out. If you want to see how it looks in your inbox, you can uh, mail it to yourself. 
I can scoot up real quick here. All right, see, and put a note on it or whatever. Um, you know, note to yourself about whatever. And I'm going to go ahead and hit exit preview. Make sense? Bob? That makes sense? All right, go ahead and hit exit preview, and then I'm going to move on to the scheduling of the email. And that would be the last step. So you got it all the way you want it. You can hit save and continue. All right. Uh, what, what we have to do first, we're going to assign it to a list. And I just, for, you know, just for example sake, I put it on general interest. Okay. Right now, what's that? Okay. Uh, right now it says a draft because you don't have it scheduled yet. You could say send it now, you know, or you can schedule it for some date in the future. All right. So, uh, you know, just date picker, you know, kind of, kind of deal. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, and as long as uh, it hasn't sent out yet, you can always go back and make changes. You know, and you, and you just you just reset it as a draft. Okay, so I'm gonna schedule it. And then I'll just and I'll reset it as a draft just to just as an example. I'm gonna set this. I'm just gonna set it for you know an hour from now or whatever. So. All right, um, you put links up here if somebody wants to share this, you know, on their social networking. You know, always a good idea. You know, Gary's. Uh, I, I manage you know a Twitter account for Gary, and so I, I have it set to where it'll automatically show up in his Twitter account. Um, so right now I'm just going to hit finish. So you know it'll be scheduled. Alright. And obviously you can go back and make changes to it so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Reset it to draft. Actually I set it for tomorrow so that's kind of that's another automatic thing. You want to make sure you get the right date in there. but uh, So you know, I chose the list I was going to send it to. I scheduled it for, you know, a later date. But, uh, you know, if I want to edit, you know, any aspect of it, the email itself or the the settings or the header, you know, the actual stuff that the people see or, you know, who it goes to, you know, you got your edit selections right here. So, you know, you can go back to your uh, email marketing where we started and you can see see it in the list of emails so you can go back and make changes to it